Welcome, Haroi. Um, I wanted today to talk to you a little bit about our retreat that's happening on Tambourine Mountain in May, and you're going to be my guest tutor. So this was all about um, letting um, my prospective students know a little bit about you, and also a little bit about what we'll be doing at the retreat. So welcome. Yep. Um, you, I've known you for a long time now, haven't I? For about, probably about what? 20 years? Or mm, almost. Almost a 20. Close. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Hiroi has been um, a lovely uh, mentor to me over uh, some of this time, and we've been a very, and we've had a, a really good business relationship over that time. So, um, when I decided to do some retreats at Tambourine Mountain, um, she was one of the f people I thought of that would be um, a fantastic tutor for one of our retreats and she kindly uh, agreed to do so. So watch, we've just finished the uh, March retreat and that was a fantastic success. Uh, we did that with Pauline Rogers and so now we're on to our May retreat where we're, um, we're, we do have quite a few um, already booked and for those of you, um, this is what you'll be doing. For the girls who haven't quite made up their mind whether they'd like to come, we'd like to give you a little bit of an insight into what will be happening at the retreat. Now, Haroi's decided that um, she'd like to do some foundation piecing, and I think that's going to be a fantastic um, uh, accompaniment to the Sashi Co that we'll be doing as well. But Haroi, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, you've lived in Australia for quite a while. Yeah, 20, I come to Australia uh, 23 years ago. 23 years yes. ago. Yes, okay. I'm Japanese, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hence that she's a really, um, she knows her product and she knows a lot about Sashiko and Boro and she's a very good um, designer. She's a great designer of, um, of, of uh, quilts and uh, patterns and things like that. So, and of course, she um, has access to all these beautiful, beautiful fabrics that we um, uh, that we can um, offer. So, she's going to be doing some foundation piecing, and um, we thought we'd just give you um, a little insight into some of her works and to also show you what she'll be teaching at the retreat as well. Yep. So if you would like to just explain a little bit about um, what this is. This is foundation piecing. I didn't know this was foundation piecing but you said it's, this is yeah, also this foundation. This is foundation piecing. Mm. This yeah. is a pattern called the crazy quilt. Crazy quilt, yes. Yep. yes. And uh, one paper cutting this right and from outside making a line keep going right and so sewing in the middle this one sewing starting next one this next one this next one this uh, next one next one next one next one and then continue okay one block finished. one block so it doesn't take very long to do very short time very short time yeah and so foundation piecing is ideal for the beginner. Yep. Absolutely. So <laughs> don't feel that um, if you haven't done this sort of work before that you should be excluded. You feel that it's very um, doable for a beginner. Yes. Right? And because um, I'll uh, because I'll be I'll be lining up for it as well. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Foundation piecing is uh, very accurate. Very accurate. Yes. And uh, not so much waste of fabric. Right. Yeah, mm, okay. very good. So great way of using up all your scraps too, I suppose. Yeah, is it? all scrap yeah. fabric. Yeah, so these look like there's nothing, uh, no pattern as far as um, uh, uh, fabric goes. It's sort of, yeah, crazy patch, isn't it? Really? Yeah, crazy yeah. patch. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so that's, we've actually got some samples here to show you exactly what Hiroi um, has already done. And it's a great way to... Um, to get to see what you can do if you do this class. So this is another one, um, a little bit different, um, but still the same foundation piecing method. Yes, exactly the same. Mm. This is calling a triangle log cabin. A triangle log cabin, yes. okay. Oh, fantastic. This yes. is one block. Yes. One block, second, third. Okay. Yep. 
Right, and that makes up a whole block, does it? Yes. Right, okay, fantastic, yes. I've not seen that called before, it's very nice. Lovely. I love I love the use of colour. You've got a very good sense of colour too, I've noticed over the years. Um, some of your quilts are just amazing. Oh, we're coming to um, some a, a real favourite of mine shortly. Enjoy your fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's using a little bit of sashiko. Yes. And was this done by a foundation piecing as well? This is a foundation piecing. Using log cabin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it hasn't got to be intricate. It can be quite simple. Very, very simple. Right. Okay. And more quicker. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. And a bit of sashiko on that one. Lovely. And this is probably one of my favourite quilts. This is just beautiful. I love the colours in this. And I love the fact that you've done some uh, raw edge applique on this as well and combined it with a very simple log cabin. But oh my goodness me, how effective it is. Just beautiful. Well done. It's just... Um, very, very autumn colour. Autumn colours. Yeah. That's probably why I love it so much. Yeah, no, it's absolutely beautiful. One pattern, second pattern. Right, so you've got two right, okay. Just the the, uh, the way that you've done the, the just um, changing the order. Yes, right, okay. Yes, and that's beautiful. And I love I, I really like this. I think it looks fantastic. Putting those little um raw edge applique flowers in there it looks wonderful. Okay, so then we've got a little bit of a different version on the um Sasha Co blocks as well. Yeah, this is a crazy patch. Crazy patch, yeah. okay. Yeah. Just a small bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And using and in, uh, piecing paper. Right, okay. Yeah. Now this one is pretty is relatively new, this one. Um, we talked about a quilt that we'd seen at um, the Tokyo Quilt Festival. I came home and I said to you, oh my goodness me, that was just beautiful. And then you designed this beautiful quilt using a combination of foundation piecing with um, the graduated colouring and then um, that's not um, foundation piecing down there but this is up here, is that, that right? Um, or applique. Oh, it's all, sorry? This is applique. Oh, applique, okay. Yes, right. very okay. simple applique. Right, okay, um, and combined it with the uh, foundation piecing, yeah. It looks, it's absolutely beautiful. I just love that, it's gorgeous. I love the way it just grades um, from di into different colours. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, so now we're getting on to what we'll be doing at the retreat. So th you've got two colourways, haven't you? Yep. You've got this colourway. And, and the indigo colourway. And the indigo colourway. So as you can see, um, using the grey background, yep. and, and the fabric is just beautiful that you've used. So this, so this is going to be a colourway kit, and then the so there'll be a choice of colours. Is that right? Or yes, yes. Okay, all right, lovely. Okay, so that's one. Okay, and then this is the one that everyone. This is a Mount Tambourine retreat. This is the retreat. Yes, absolutely. Right, so. Okay, so this is what you'll be um, stitching at the retreat as well. Um, and as you can see, we've used a little bit of sashiko in the, um, in the blocks and a combination of all these beautiful fabrics. Thank you. It's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. This quilt called Hanabi. Hanabi? Hanabi. What does Hanabi mean? Hanabi means English firework. English fire? Oh, a firework. Yeah. Okay. Summertime, summertime on Riverside, making firework. Right. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So, thank you for that. Okay. So, that's a little bit about what, um, about what you'll be teaching up there. And um, we'll probably be teaching this for about um, over the four days with um, thrown in... Um, each day we'll be throwing in a little bit of sashiko because you're such an officiality of, of sashiko as well. And we'll be do, um, so we'll work together on um, the whole four days. We yep. won't be separating anyone, we'll just be working together. So that'll be fantastic. Um, a requirement is that you do need a, a sewing machine. Um, if you um, are coming from far away, I can always organise a sewing machine for you to have it on site so that you haven't got a lag lug it on the um, train or the plane, whatever. So um, you don't have to worry about that. The retreat is um, in the most beautiful location. It's overlooking the Gold Coast. Um, and autumn weather is just stunning up there. The room that we're teaching at um, is beautiful and light. It's, it's lovely and light. 
um, fresh air is gorgeous. Food was absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll be having, instead of having afternoon tea this time, we're going to have drinks after, uh, after we sew. So that'll be lovely, drinks and cocktails. And I'll also be teaching a little, we'll be, I'm teaching manipulating designs, um, pre-stenciled pre fabric. We'll be manipulating those so that you can create your own designs. And, and we've both done that. So, um, and also playing with the niche sashiko templates that um, I have just designed. And that's a great fun way of um, designing as well. And because Harari designs um, most of, well, nearly all of your sashiko panels, you design those all yourself, don't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. So she's got a really good design, um, an artistic flair, um, which she's been um, very lucky to have. And Thank I'm you. sure she'll be able to um, help in the design as well. So um, it'll be a great workshop. Um, I encourage, if you're interested, please, I encourage you to get in touch with me, um, sue at indigoniche.com. Or give me a phone call on 0418 157 817 and we'd love to have you on board. Um, it's only about six weeks away, I think that's all. Yeah, five six or six weeks. Yeah, six weeks away. So um, if you're thinking of um, coming, um, ask a friend, come by yourself, whatever you'd like to do. Um, we'd love to hear from you. So I look forward to catching up with you then, Heroi, and um, it'll be a great retreat for you.